Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the crap hole. It's been a while. I cleaned up the crap hole a little bit. You can see I cleaned up back here and I got some more stuff going on. I'll uh, go through everything. Um, there's my KTM copy Chinese Mototech bike, which is a KTM 105 copy with a crappy 150cc four stroke engine. I am Probably going to ride it for a while, get used to it, whatever. And then the ultimate goal is to pull the motor out and put it in a RC390 motor in there. You can get them on eBay for about 1200 bucks. And I got a guy, a fabricator, who will probably retrofit it. And it'll be a pain in the ass. It might take a while. That's a next year's project. What I'm doing tonight is new fork springs. I got the BBR stiff, stiffer fork springs for my fat ass. Here's the old fork springs. They are really easy to come out with a clip and some other bullshit and stuff, but whatever. So I put the new one in. That one's done. I'm doing the second one right now. Here's the brand new fork spring. I already put the oil in. I have my little mixing cup and the fork oil. Now, if you buy this at your local motorcycle shop, you can get this like I did for 10 bucks. That's not 666. It's just backwards. It's 9.99. Um, if you buy it on Amazon, it's about $18 for the same fork oil, the 15 weight. And my little mixing cup was 8 bucks. Uh, probably, well, I needed one anyway, so I don't give a shit. But. So you take everything apart. You put the oil in first, of course. Then you put the spring in, and very slowly. You don't want to splash any oil. Just drop it slowly in there. Here you go. Oh, well, my hands. Comes with a spacer, because it is shorter. So put the spacer in the hole, and then what you do is you find the cap that I just freaking lost. All right, now here we go. Where the fuck is it? All right, uh, hold on a minute. Jesus, how the hell do I do this shit? I swear to God. How the frig? All right, I'll find the cap. God damn. Oh. All right, so you put the cap on there after you find the cap and you put the little o-ring back in the little clip And you push it down and you clip the o-ring in. I can't believe I just lost this damn thing. Oh, I know where it is It's in the bucket of oil It's in there. I'll find it. It's in there. I forgot. Oh, no, it's not. It's right here. Oh my god. I found it Okay, it's in the rag. I was cleaning it It's covered in oil, which is good if you want it oily so you put the cap on top of there, you push it down in, make sure there's no crap or anything on it. But as you push it in, you put the O-ring on top of it, so you can snap the O-ring in as you're pushing it in. So this video, I have a couple things to talk about. Got my new vice there from Harbor Freight for 60 bucks, And uh, I got this shit all mess here. Which I'm going to clean up. I've been working on it a little at a time. So here's the new news right here. There it is. Um, I always wanted a sport bike. I never owned one. Um, I just got my motorcycle license and I got it on a Duke 200. So I wanted a sport bike and the KTM Duke. I loved it. So I bought the RC390 while I was at work over the phone. Of course, I didn't tell my wife, and then two weeks later, I picked it up in South Jersey and brought it home, and my wife had a good talking to with me, but uh, after I raised my life insurance, I was allowed to ride it, so I ride it around the neighborhood and practice my turning and everything. Now, I used to race motocross many, many years ago, so I know how to ride and how to shift and how to do all that stuff, but... Um, these are different animals. I mean, this bike is so, it's only a single cylinder, 383 cc, whatever the hell they call it, 390. But you can literally just by gunning it, lift the front wheel right off the ground. So, um, I'm not one of those dudes. So I just want to, something nice, fun to ride that I can use when gas prices hit 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever dollars a gallon. I will be driving this and not my BMW. So... But that's that. So, yeah, I got a good talking to, good yelled at, yelling at, and then 
She read me the riot act and all that other crap. And I threatened to leave and everything. And, and she got really pissed off and then whatever. So I just let it go. Went out for a while and came back and everything was fine. She cooked me dinner. So that's how she, that's how she hooked me. She hooked me because she's an amazing cook. And my fat ass couldn't stop eating. So here's my Troy Lee. This is one of my Troy Lee helmets. I got two of them. This is my orange and black one because my wife wanted, when I first built this bike here, I was, this bike was going to be all blue, like a, like a Yamaha. Blue plastics, blue seat, blue everything, like a Yamaha. But she's like, no, I like orange and black. So I said, all right, I'll do it in orange and black. Next thing I know, I got a KTM. And then I bought, I, well, I bought the Chinese KTM. I didn't know it was a Chinese KTM. I just thought it looked really cool. It was a 150. I could race it in the play bike class. It wasn't expensive. I got it for two grand. I put a little bit of money into it, painted a few things, made it look really pretty. And now I got another bike. But then what I figured, what I found out is that, let me put this friggin' helmet down before I drop it somewhere. And we're going to put, put it right here. Like I said, it's a work in progress. I'm working on it. So I bought this bike and then come to find out it's a KTM 105 replica it's a copy i can literally buy like 2012 ktm 105 plastics and bolt it right on there so so here what's what i'm doing with this one this bike i got the uh, dmn rear shock which is totally awesome this shock you can literally adjust it where the fuck is it oh there it is you can literally adjust it and it totally changes the way the bike feels um, it's a 290 millimeter, uh, 350 pound spring. Um, you do not use the 1,000 pound spring on this stock swing arm. If you get the other swing arm, it might work. I haven't tested it yet. I am working on that. But um, that shock is awesome. And now with the BBR front springs, um, the bike should be feel real leveled. Before when I was riding it, I actually felt like the front end was lower than the back because the sp the springs are the stock springs are so mushy so that's that so i got that bike that bike and then i'm working on this now i had a i had to uh manipulate the frame to fit the swing arm this is getting a regular style swing arm not those uh not those klx 110 this is a 110 l and uh it's stock but it's gonna have um bbr rear shock with the custom swing arm it's going to have uh custom front end inverted front forks um the suspension everything custom exhaust high performance exhaust and all that crap and just hang i used it now to hang my goggles and gloves so all right so that's the other news i know it's been a while i know all five of you have been waiting so long to hear me do another video and see what's been going on but I'm not done. There's still more. The first frame is put together. I'm going to build this bike. And this is the first production frame. This is production number one, which is already sold. I did not do a prototype on these um, frames. This is brand new. This is not my prototype. My prototype is at the welders right now. He's just using that as reference. This is a brand new frame, 2022. It is not heat treated. And this one is sold to someone who's going to custom powder coat it. I am just building it to make sure everything lines up perfectly. And so far, so good. I got the wheel on. Everything looks really great. Um, this, this frame will be going down to South Philly to be heat treated. And... Um, then it, that's pretty much it. It'll just be cleaned up a little bit. Um, it's already sold. The guy's going to powder coat it himself. Um, before they powder coat them, they'll, they'll uh, glass beat them. And this bike will probably be, I think it's Illusion Purple. It's a really awesome looking metallic type purple. Um, so this frame is sold. This is production number one. Um, this is not one of the Steve Cohen frames. This is actually the uh, Steve Cohen frames is one to 12. This is actually production number one. And this one is going to a guy in Connecticut, I think. I got to check the book. So, but uh, there's my cruiser, and uh, cruisers I'll be doing probably later next year. So, but that's the other news: is that this is the first production frame 
of 2022. Um, 15 more are being welded right now. They're being put together. And uh, so I just wanted to put this together and ride it a little bit just to make sure everything was good. And it was good. I mean, I'll finish putting it. I'm going to put it back together just for reference. Give it to the welder just so he everything he, he's got the uh, fixture for welding. And just want to make sure everything went together well. It looks really good. The welds are perfect. His welds are awesome. This guy's been welding since he's a kid. Look at those welds, how nice it came out. So I can't wait to get the rest of those going. And the Steve Cohen frames will be done soon too. So that's what's going on. And uh, here, I'll turn that around. I got shaved off of my beard a while ago, but uh, oh, I don't know if I'm holding the phone correctly. So it's probably all over the place. But that's what's going on. I mean, I got the bike. I'm very happy. Love my KTM. And uh, like I said, this is going to be, I can't wait. Maybe next year I'll have the money. I'm going to turn this into a super mini, a 490 mini. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to get gigantic knobby rear tires. I'm going to put a rear tire in the front and make this a, a monster. And uh, that should be fun. I still want a KTM 105. They're awesome. Um, I watched uh, AJ Catanzaro uh, rate the KTM 105 against the Yamaha Super Mini YZ1, YZ105. And uh, he said the KTM is light years better than all the other 105s. So I really want to get one of those. But um, right now I'm just going to finish my forks tonight. And uh, that'll be that. I will post more videos. And uh, so in the future... So all five of you are happy. You'll get to see more videos from my crap hole garage. But it's getting there. I cleaned quite a bit, all, all the stuff out. All I'm going to do is clean this side up. And then I'm going to put all, all new studs. Have it all wired for electricity, insulated. There's my TV. I was watching the Anvil movie again because I love that movie. And uh, insulated. And my sheet rocker will come in sheet rock. And uh, I'm going to tile the floors in here. So the first probably 13 feet, 14 feet will be all motorcycles and stuff. And I'm going to put a couch back here and like a 75-inch TV over there. And that'll be my hangout since my wife took over the whole house and I have nowhere to do anything in the house. So, so that's it. There's my KTM copy, which I love that bike. And then my, my favorite of the... Uh, KLX 110s. I'm almost done with the forks. I'm trying to think what else. I got to re readjust the rear um, chain uh, guide on the bottom. But that's about it. And then, uh, of course, I love my RC 390. This thing is so much fun to ride. And you know what? It's a 2020. I got it for 5800. If you can afford one, get one. They are so much fun. Did a little custom stuff to it already. I took off the. I don't ever plan on riding with anybody on the back with me. Um, so I took that off. I got some more controls, anodized aluminum controls uh, coming, uh, levers, anodized aluminum, and I also got the uh, grips and everything coming just to dress it up a little bit. But uh, it came with that exhaust. That's a custom, whatever. I don't know. But uh, it's just so much fun that you got to get one. If you can afford it, get one. They're awesome. So thanks for stopping by, taking a look. This is probably a little longer than normal, but a lot's happened. I haven't done a video in a while. A lot's happened. So, uh, hang out, keep your eyes open. I'll get another video out as soon as I get more stuff done. I also got a new seat cover for this, but I'll, that'll be in the next video. And, uh, also the other bike over there, like I said, I, um, the swing arm, I, re I retrofitted it and, uh, there's a lot more stuff coming with that. I even got the rear shock for it already and the forks. I got to start getting that going. So thanks for stopping by and, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.